Hi everybody, so I'm Sierra Sam from uh, Hobie Global Exchange and uh, we're here today um, at Ask Puzzle Week to share you guys with our perspectives for the NFT marketplace right now. So first, uh, a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Sierra Sun. I'm Head of Listing and Blockchain Investment at Hobie Global. We are a world leading crypto exchange since the year of 2013. So we have been, you know, kind of ancient in the crypto space, but like such a baby compared to traditional market. Uh, especially to art. Um, before joining Hobi, I worked at uh, Boston Consulting Group, Ernst Young, and Deloitte um, in the financial services industry. And I joined Hobi as the chief of staff, helped sort out different uh, business units and structures within Hobi Group, and then established Hobi um, Global Business Development Center and Partnership. That's where we uh, were helping our brand with their Asia trip and also um, with the initial token listing and help them with uh, building their, you know, Asia kind of um, community um, back then. And then um, soon after, I, I was uh, um, um, leading the uh, global markets um, for Hobi um, as the vice president of Hobi Group, and I was uh, in charge of the um, global expansion and also um, built the instit institutional business unit back then. Um, institutional trading volume was only about 10% on Hobi Global. And that was very interesting to see how much this uh, customer structure has changed during the past two years. And uh, nowadays, um, very recent data is that um, we have about 75% of trading volume that's accounted for um, Hobi Global that's made uh, from institutional investors and out of our, our daily trading volume, about 25 billion um, US dollars per day. So this year, um, in April, I established a blockchain asset center where we were able to help projects early stage with incubation, advisory, and token investment and listing. And finally, after listing um, operations and services, that's where we were able to help a lot of the NFT projects such as Immutable, Gala Games, VeggieG, uh, Define Arts, Epic Prime, a lot of the uh, you know, booming projects out there. And we're so happy to see them doing so well in the space. Um, and uh, very happy to be here again to, to talk about how we can further um, 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 help with the whole NFT space growing. So take a guess at the Gallon's work um, of the year. So that's NFT and NFT has been growing so fast and it made itself from zero to a hundred with a rapid growth where everybody was so surprised to look at. Um, and uh, with the uh, um, auction that happened um, so that's the, I think it's the semi-annual auction that happened at Christie's um, last month when I was in New York. I was so surprised to see that, um, you know, Beepo's uh, Human One project, the whole installation was so amazing. And its uh, final price was around uh, $29 million, I think. So a lot of the questions that we got asked is that, do exchanges view NFT as a cash call? Or do we actually believe that this is a, a great um, change and phenomenon that happening in the crypto space? And uh, do we see um, NFT ecosystem continue to grow in the future? So this is the you know, first uh, 5,000 days for $69 million at Christie's. And uh, Beepo was, you know, an artist uh, who really um, made um, himself um, well-known in the NFT plays. And uh, um, before NFT, you know, his artwork was sold around $100 um, only. Uh, and right now, as I said, in the um, last month's auction, it was um, so at $29 million. And this is really amazing to see. And the value of the digital art market has grown by 299% last year, according to the NFT 2020 report. And we can only imagine that number you know, to go up by a lot of times by the end of this year. However, all that is just um, the tip of the iceberg. You know, the luxury market, the gaming market, music, sports teams, you know, all want a piece. And any art in digital format can be categorized as NFT. So this includes, you know, video clips, movies, sports trading cards, fashion, um, GIFs, tweets, digital artwork, and so much more. So they function as a guarantee of authenticity. And for Huobi, we see that these assets as a revolution that will not only change the artwork, but many more. So that's uh, where I interviewed the co-founder of NFT NYC. That was a crazy week that uh, we're, you know, 
over 200 things that all events happened during the week. And that's where we were able to see a lot of the artists and the, just to get a real taste of how the NFT market has grown in these days. And um, I think there are a lot of room for us to really connect um, the crypto world and the art world, especially when we were referred as the uh, ERC-20 exchange um, <laughs> by them. They see us more like a ERC-20 token exchange compared to OpenSea. So they're more not that into crypto, but definitely, you know, are so interested in, in NFT and we really want to become that bridge mm -hmm. and, you know, educate them about multi-chain, for example, our grand that we supported from day one. Um, and um, I believe that they, they buy, they are buying NFT, you know, to be, to become one of the only people who owns a rare and unique moment. So as an exchange, crypto exchange that who has been around for about eight years, we are really, you know, looking forward to ways that we can bridge, uh, bridge that gap. So um, a lot of the things that we have done in the NFT, um, in NFT, uh, NFT place, um, like I said, we, we listed several tokens and we have been, you know, involved in the NFT community for quite some time now, from token listing to project investment, and also some digital art auctions that uh, to build our, our own virtual gallery as well. So um, these are just some photos that were taken during some auction that we were able to generate about uh, $1.5 million in proceeds. And uh, we are really committed to grow with the ecosystem and we have a long-term strategy to become a leader in this space. So in May, we announced our new ventures arm with um, um, that we will deploy $100 million in early stage blockchain and uh, crypto decentralized projects. And um, of that 100 million, we have 10 million fund that's uh, set aside exclusively for NFT projects. That's where we were able to um, invest in Gala Games, in Goodable, and um, very, very happy to see you know, those pro uh, pro projects are performing well. And uh, we are happy to look at more NFT projects along the way and um, just feel free to contact me afterwards. So, well, the NFT market is growing globally. Few pro pro uh, platforms and marketplaces cater to the Asian Pacific region. So China alone accounts for more than 20% of the global art market, according to the most recent, you know, our Basel and UBS Global Art Market Report. And to address this gap and provide NFT trading services built for a global scale, we helped launch uh, iBox, that's an NFT marketplace that we curated and we, we helped advise and incubated from the beginning. And we also um, invested in uh, some Asia um, marketplace like um, Define Arts. And we, um, um, we, we work with influencers, artists, celebrities, you know, as uh, well, widely recognized brands and also in intellectual properties to launch uh, exclusive NFT collections on the platforms. So talking about NFT token listings, um, 18 tokens are now currently listed on Fubi that are um, under the NFT category and more are, are being added on a regular basis. So um, up until this Q3, overall trading volume for these NFT projects reached over 250 billion um, in this year um, alone. And that's uh, just how much this uh, whole category has increased. So those would, you know, in, um, include Gala, DFA, MX, and also Axis, Flow, and so much more. And we have witnessed rapidly um, growth for our international NFT market, like all of the products chosen for our variety, you know, programs, all the way from incubation, investment, and final listing. And uh, we are very um, happy to be able to support their ecosystem as well, as we see the infrastructure has been built, built up. So according to the marketplace data, global NFT market has already reached 2.8 billion in sales this year. And that's, you know, a growth from 13.7 million in the first half of 2020. While we see the potential in the NFT space, we also acknowledge that the in um, industry is still very early and NFTs like other cryptos have to be recognized and accepted by mainstream audiences. And we have to, you know, continue to educate them about all the other amazing things that's happening in the blockchain industry, such as what's happening with Augur. So to increase mass adoption and add more liquidity to the NFT market, we are actively engaging with our community and you know, NFT, NFT enthusiasm on a series of campaigns and in-person events, such as these amazing things that we're doing and this one hosted by Augur. 
And now the reason why we loved Algorand's NFT ecosystem is pretty clear. It has been building the technology to power future FI or the covenants of traditional and decentralized models into a united system. And that is very inclusive and it's very secure. So Algorand developed a secure, low cost and um, scalable and a very um, environment environment friendly blockchain infrastructure that offers capacity to facilitate DeFi, new cater, um, creator um, economics, DAOs, NFT ecosystems, and more. It is now the technology of the choice for more than 700 global partners, including us will be. So our grants, um, Fundamental technology is, you know, intentionally designed to support and include all asset types for the future of finance, so including NFTs. And they, they believe in long-term value that NFTs will bring a new era to digital assets um, that's the same as us. So there are numbers of core requirements for, for a robust ecosystem. Um, this includes exchange support, where, you know, we are very happy that we can provide the liquidity to the market, and also marketplace, um, custody, medium of change, tax compliance, risk control, legal, and all that. So the DeFi world is heavily engaged in this new economy. And uh, we believe that with this uh, low cost and uh, more revenue com uh, community in the whole um, NFT ecosystem, uh, we and Algorand can join together and really support the ecosystem. And these are just music to our exchanges and the community's ears. So to conclude, we hope that in the in the future, um, people will choose will be not only for our liquidity for you know ERC twenty tokens, uh, multi chain tokens, but also for our taste in NFT projects, and NFT tokens, and NFT projects. So uh, we will continue to be there to build our own um, strategy and capture this uh, significant market share of global NFT market, and we expect to see um, more initiatives to be announced in the near future. So that's how you can find me, Twitter at CRHobi, or just go to our website, hobi.com, to check out our exchange. And um, we'll be around to talk about more projects, um, which to be invested by us or to be listed by us. Thank you so much.